Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena and today it is Midweek Magic and it's the On The Edge event so only 3 sets are legal, Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, Neon Dynasty and I, and um, it's it has kind of solidified a bit um, it seems like the popular ones are Mono Red and Vampires but I wanted to try something out a little bit different so here we are with um, Runo Stormkirk. So most of you probably have never heard of this guy before, and, probably, and for a very good reason. So let's let's talk about Runo Stormkirk. Stromkirk. So he's a three mana one four flat vampire cleric. When he enters the battlefield, put up to one target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card, reveal that card. If a creature card with mana value six or greater is revealed that way, you get to transform him into Crotus, Lord of the Deep. Which is a 3 5 flyer, and when Krotus attacks, you create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of another target attacking creature. If that creature happens to be a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent, you create two of those tokens instead. We're not exactly taking advantage of the second half there. Well, technically, we could. We have one copy of Hullbreaker Horror at least. But um, pretty much the idea is that we want to flip Runo get, and, get, and get tons of value. So our main value cards are. Pretty much virus beetle and circuit mender. Though getting, though like say getting copies of Kyrie is um is pretty good as well. Mirror shell crab is very annoying. It's also one of the easiest ones to put on the bin and get back. Toxreal not so much. It's legendary. Same with Jingitaxias. I could run the full gamut of Hullbreaker horrors, but we don't exactly have many instants and sorceries in this build. In fact, it. Like um, the Infernal Grasp and the Path of Peril, those are our only instants and sorceries. Everything else is pretty much a permanent. So, but that's it. The Path of Perils are kind of important. They help stem the tide against, um, they they help stem the tide against all those um vampire decks. Same with the Meat Hook Massacre, though this is a little bit harder to land. That said, um, we are running Kaito Shizuki as a way to. As an alternate way to get one of our big creatures in the yard and also to keep generating card advantage. Soren keeps us alive, likewise Enrica Dominati does the same thing. So this is pretty much a control deck with a twist. It's not pure control. But it's worth but it is worth a shot. And so that's what we're and so that's what we're gonna do today. This is just gonna be um just j just for fun, I would say. If you I'm we did have some success against certain decks, but we do have trouble against other decks as well. It's kind of what you expect on on the edge. So just some trying out a little, trying out something different here. Like what could go wrong with a pirate vampire? Anyway, we have a decent start. Like having a path of perils kind of an automatic. We will just run out uncharted haven, run it on. Since we have the double black, we're gonna run this on blue. No one suspects it. Technically, I could run this on white also. Especially if our opponent is playing mono green or some green red. Green red is also quite popular, I must I, I must say as well. So it's pretty much Virus Beetle into either Graveyard Trespasser or Circuit. Oh, this is definitely green red. So we need to this. Oh, green white. Okay, so things are looking very different here, I must say. Army of Transients. We could just Path of Peril right away, but we're gonna kinda wait for our opponent to go off a little bit. So we're probably going to We'll play it safe, land the circuit mender, because we don't get value from landing the graveyard trespasser. Also, we can just trade this off, draw a card, and then land the path of peril. Let's see what drops our opponent has. Because um, the key with Path of Perils, it only checks mana value. Now if our opponent swings, we will definitely auto-block, so this might not be so proper. Now also, but this is a mana value tree, so he kind of needs... Yeah, Infernal Grasp will work nicely. There is an argument for holding the Infernal Grasp, but we, ha we have a definite target for it. So we're just gonna run the circuit mender some delay our opponent a little bit. It does look weird. It looks like we're an artifact deck. I should have considered building an artifact deck. Opponent discarding the Jukai, which is fine. If they go really wide, I want to 
wedding announcement. Well, we the t we can hit the token at least. Borrow time. That's fine. We lose one circuit mender. We probably don't trade the other circuit mender. We might actually just trade the virus beetle because we're gonna lose it anyway. Play the Shattered Sanctum. We we have an argument for holding it up with just one mana away. And okay, that was fast. I did not expect an auto concede from there. Our opponent still had the restoration coming out, and they still had the wet wedding announcement on standby. What gives? And the Kami of Transients can actually come back depending on what happens. So that felt super premature. If any, I kind of wish we had exile effects to deal with the Kami of Transients, but you know what? I'll take that win. I'll take it, I'll take it. It's not I'm not gonna complain over a win. A win's a win. We'll take it. So that's pretty much our main plan against against aggro. Aggro seems to be very popular on the edge, and it does make sense. I've been looking back at some of the vid uh, the previous on the edge decks I've done, they've mostly been aggro to some degree. Uh, this is... We have the Stormkirk. We can bin the Mirror Shell Crab. We have an Infernal Grasp if we need to, but we're just going to be one turn delayed. We... I'm going to risk this, but I honestly should be mull mulling this. We will name this on blue because we have a white-black on standby. Now we could, now we need another. We need at least one more land. Okay, evolving walls is slow, but okay. We let's double check. We named this on blue. Okay, always double check. But usually it's not wrong to go for black. So we'll go for take out the classic naturalist. Opponent probab. The bad part here is that. Uh, our opponent probably has a Reckless Storm Seeker that would probably the better target. So, we are now hitting our mana. I guess we could buy time with the Stormkirk, or I'm actually going to just pass. Yeah, our opponent's going to have a larger Storm Charge Slasher, that's the bad part, but... Let's see... Technically, we could have countered that, but let's see if our opponent has a spell. Generally, they do. So I'm so tempted to play Stormkirk and just um, put the sh crab on top anyway, but we're guaranteed to take 5 damage at if we do that. Well, kind of guaranteed to take 5 anyway. Circuit Mender is probably the better play. I want to see it flip at least. We're definitely not attacking though. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not attacking. Our opponent is gonna go really big here. The argument for playing Circuit Mender was to... The argument for playing Circuit Mender was to draw another land. Oh, they even had the Iron Hook draw. Okay, so this was a really bad play. And this is... These are both tree drops, so Path of Peril kind of misses this. We can concede this one. So this either wins quickly or loses quickly. This is actually closer to mid-range. Our mistake was um, hitting the Kessig Naturalist when we should have hit the Reckless Storm Seeker that was coming. There was no reason for us to hold back for the most part. But also the hand we kept was kind of sketchy. Actually, it's a reason why I would prefer anything over Hellbreaker Horror. We don't usually hit the mana for it. It's usually just to get it to flip. But then when you do get it to flip, it works out. Also does show us the weakness of Path of Peril, but currently, but technically in this format, yeah, the only other relatively cheap um, rat effect would be by invitation only. So there's also Consuming Tide. Okay, same problem, but we do have a 2-drop to slow our opponent down. Uh, let's play it. 
Because it's really great. We have the Kaito, we have the Circuit Mender. Keeping sketchy hands. I don't like it. Opponent has to spell. At least the Virus Beetle trades well with Ascendant Pack Leader for the time being. But we are in trouble until we can hit a third land. This is Naturalist. Everyone's been getting their... Yeah. We'll take another Virus Beetle. If we, if we can slow our opponent down, I we are I'm I will go for it. Current situation, it looks like I I am probably just blocking the ascendant pack leader. They did discard one Tamiyo safekeeping. This has trample. But being able to take it out is probably not such a bad idea. Let's see if they actually have a second one. Yeah, we're taking the damage just to kill, get it to go, but it's really not looking great for us. This Again, I will admit, sketchy keep. Wow, really sketchy keep. We can concede this one. We we won't be able to catch up after that. So let that be a lesson. Three mana minimum. No, as, no matter how promising it is, never don't don't keep a hand with less than three mana. You you will regret it. Kind kind of sounds like the guy from SimCity 2000. You cannot reduce you cannot reduce funding. You will regret this. Something to that effect. As I said, this one is just really more for exp explore, exploring stuff. Right? Okay, so no blue this time, but we do get we do get an early trespasser. The shattered sanctum is really just for the path of peril, but it's either that or run more basics, and I'm actually quite okay with this. Also, to note that we can use field of ruin as a way to shooter because our our every opponent and their mother pretty much runs a ruin. Well, except for the ones that play mono white, uh, mo mono colors, but even even they run some some of these lands. Now, if our opponent is kind enough to play another X one, we can. So kind. Well, we also hit the shipwreck marsh, so I actually have a decider here. I'm actually gonna just play this and. Leave it. Leave this be. I don't think that people expect a crab. And we at least want to get one crab in the yard. Are they gonna actually just hold up? Nope. Of course they're not. And that would have been an even bigger nightmare to deal with. Hmm. In theory, we can afford to take two more damage and just um, slam Me Meat Hook Massacre X2 if it allows us to hold up another crab. Let's do that. All according to cake. Uh, all according to plan. Yeah, we're giving our opponents cards, but. Kind of fine with that. We're probably going to end up letting the next one go though. So this one's just in case there's something I miss, but Let's regain a little life back. So the catch now is if our opponent has a third hollow. Oh, they did have the third hollow taunting. And Jupai Naturalist, so we can go Kaito Shizuki, but if they start stacking, it only this this only stays as a tree tree no matter what. Okay, safest place to just drop Kaito Shizuki. If the 
powerful won't help. I'll we'll, do it myself. We'll create, a, we'll create a ninja to block. I got someone on the inside who can help. Let's. Not so sure if this lands though. Yeah, I. Okay, tree, tree. So the key is to take out enough of these guys. We lose that one. That's fine. So this one counts equals the number of spirits. So there are. There is one spirit here. If we can take this out, that's x equals three. Okay, now we need one more mana. We might have to do a draw discard just to get it to happen. Yeah, we're doing the draw discard because we need it to be untapped. Yeah. I know okay, something that. you don't know. Number of this creature's power and toughness are equal to number of spirits. There, o there were only four spirits. It should have been four four. I cast X. E That's a bug. Hold on. I am definitely going to press report the bug on that one. But that's definitely a bug. Th that should that should have wiped them out. Unless there's some. Oh wait, no. I I know I now know what I missed. Never mind. It's not a bug. I forgot about the wedding announcement. It's we we did not have enough, and no matter what, whoops. But how was I? I go, how was I going to defend against the third hollowed haunting? They I countered two of them. Maybe I should have held on. I guess we could have afforded to take an. Actually, we could have afforded to take on more damage. There was no. It 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 was just kind of weird. Yeah. So no bug report. No bug report. No bug report. That's just me flipping out. This one, opponent go f goes first is not great. Uh, multiple titles also not so great. Green blue at least gives us some hope that it's a bit slower. Okay, it's spirits. Still definitely taking the black part. Gonna need to hold up mana. F oh wow, slow, slow burn. Where's our removal when we need it? We're definitely gonna counter one thing first. I could also just play Kaito, but. Since we have lots of black already, technically we could use more blue, I guess. I'm actually gonna just take the hit because I have no idea what their follow up play is. Willow guys. So I could just hold all of this up. I ideally want to play the Lando. Technic technically the correct play was to play Kaito and Of 
right, we're countering that. But now we get to play Circuit Mender to buy us a little bit of time. Okay, we have to get to play Circuit Mender. And Kaito. Which, um, because it's a real emergency, we're making an ninja. With the right tools, I can do anything. Hmm. Bet you can't catch us. Crab doing good work. Containment construct. Also the discard plan. Another containment construct. Okay, cute. We're gonna draw cards, see what they flip up. Soren the Mirthless, that's actually There's a good no flip. secret I can't uncover. And I we're making a vampire. And because the other side's already caught us, we can just you get Runo. This get back our mirror shell crab. But we're not gonna reveal this time. Opponent is kinda of flooded, and I know it. Yeah, we got there. So th that was a no. That is ki that is how I expected the deck to work. Yeah, so I don't need to initiate a report. It's it's I just I just goofed up. So probably do a few more games. Let's do about ten minutes worth, I guess. So probably one or two more games here. As it is, um, this match. Hmm. It, it's interesting enough. I would probably not powerful enough in the face of all the cards that um that we have from Zendikar rising all the way up to Strixhaven. But interesting enough. So hmm, super slow, but we got black blue. So we, opponent going first is usually the part that scares me. But we have three mana. We have our circuit menders. If our opponent if our opponent's deck is super fast, that that's when we get into problems. I'm tempted to mulligan at least once. Okay, no, I'm no. Our opponent took a mulligan, so I'm not tempted anymore. The circuit menders are just there to buy time, but they're also very good cards to flip up, flip up into. So definitely naming black. It's a shame we don't have the other black for Sorin, but. We could flip a field of ruin if we need to. Ooh, opponent going doing the absent. So Runo Stormkirk not getting anything back. That's usually that's actually the benefit of Kaito. Being able to flip this down is quite good. Next turn, we can just play the Field of Ruin and bounce something as needed. Ooh, well, we still get the card. That's the nice thing. That's the nice thing about them Circuit Mender. So we got ourselves another Black Source if we need it. Probably do. We... So we get to play another Circuit Mender. Visitor. Let's see if they have the other borrowed time they get they did. So we now just need to hit one of our four Path of Peril. Although a trick we can nope we hit mirror crabs, that's fine. Oh we did hit the Path of Peril, so let's see, we don't really have any. can worry about it in the next play later. Opponent goes Hollow Tonto, that's your plan B. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna play Kyrie now. Put some pressure on our opponent. Hmm? 
No, you wait. You wait for them. No, that's for Thursday. That's tomorrow, pa. That's tomorrow, pa. You leave. Okay, so Weaver of Harmony. We can play the. Okay, now technically I'd rather counter first before we play the Runo Storm Kirk. So we're gonna play the Graveyard Trespasser because we know our opponent is stuck. We're gonna eat the Weaver of Harmony. We're gonna swing first because we can put pressure that way. Let's see what if our. So our, ideally our opponent counters something. No, they just conceded. It looks like, yeah, they can't... The, the Path of Peril is pretty much the one card that will that will wreck most opponents of, of this ilk. So, we... So, pretty... So, even if you're not playing white-black, I'd go for it. Just... Just run the Path of Peril. There's... In, there are enough one or two mana value targets to make it worth. Okay, let's do one more match and call... Then we can call this a night. So very fast episode, guys. Not nothing too serious. The circuit menders definitely bought us a lot of time. Also, it makes cards like um, borrowed borrowed time really bad. Okay, definitely keeping this. We will lead on shipwreck mark because we don't really have a run job. Yeah, Path of Peril again. I will still drop the virus people though. Akiba Reckonery. Maybe we wait for this to flip. We definitely played the virus beetle though. And if it hasn't flipped yet, I might just um wait one more turn. Because I definitely want to play the crab before playing Uno. We have a tainted adversary. Okay, but so we can take we'll take the hit because it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a deck like this is gonna keep casting spells. So we're going to oblige. I'll be surprised if they did not cast a thing. Of course they're going to cast something. Arrogance is counter it now. Because this because if this somehow stays, it's gonna be annoying. It's a tree. It's it's tree it's a mana value of tree. Yeah, pun punish all the punish all the weenies. And the opponent is now stuck. We're definitely playing this first. We're gonna play the virus beetle. See what our opponent drops. I kind I'm concerned they might have a kill spell which would make um Runo sad if he bites the dust. They did have an infernal grasp. So what could this other card be? I'm gonna play Circuit Mender just to be sure. Might be another flex drop of some sort. No, it's the way the way it's timed, it, def it has to be an instant of some sort. Hero's downfall. Okay, that's fine. So we get to draw a card. That is nice. So we attack first. We'll play Kaito. Draw a card. Get in, get out. Easy mission. Okay, title. Then we'll, we will now down. play Runo. Put the mirror shell crab on top. Now, if they have kills a kill spell for Runo, we won't get the combo off, but we will definitely have ways to protect our stuff. And I can just keep drawing cards for, for the most part. Opponent is definitely forced to kill Runo. They do not want me to have crab in. They do not want to try to go for it when I have crab in hand later. Yeah, Marshall crab really. 
really nuts. It's a diff different sort of crab effect. It's not ruined crab anymore. And at the very least, I can say I actually tried something different. It's a good... I'm actually happy in the sense that the my previous On The Edge um, testing did not work out really well. Because I got to try something like this. And you know what? The Midweek Magics are very good places to te test all these out. Although I will also say that Midweek Magic is uh, not, a, not a good place to... Not a good place to Alt F4. Probably just a bad connection. But this might be a very good time for us to say that that's gonna be it for this. Ep um, this that that's gonna be it for the Magic Arena run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications and whatnot. Yes, there are some decks that are a lot faster, but you know what? I got so tired of facing up all against these fast decks. There are other wipe board wipe effects that um that are available. Aside from Pat, um, Kamigawa Nian Dynasty gave us the min a minus two minus two effect. I think it's sorcery speed, so same so so same issue. But the minus two minus two misses a lot more. There's so many ways for all these some um, small creatures to grow very easily. Like um if so, and hey, guess what? I am getting the crab back. Oh come on, seriously? Yeah, opponent just timed out. Okay, now this one is gonna. This one is a more legit. Now this one is more legit. Now, um, gen. When it comes to reporting, I know it's generally not a not something that people want to do. Personally, I'd say if it's egregious like this, I just re I I can forget about it. But I will report because um I need to make. At the very least, it cannot be a pattern of. It cannot be a pattern of behavior that our opponent's exhibiting. Yeah, opponent just opponent just timed out and left. So there we go. That's that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again next time. Take care. God bless. Stay safe wherever you are, and have a great week, everyone. Take care.